Um, this is X2, past exam number 2, question 43. So it's uh, counting the number of weights that need to be trained in a convolutional neural network. And again, it's missing one line here. <laughs> and uh, I, I will talk about it when we need the number. So at the beginning of this, we have an input image of size 90 by 90. So I think m most of the confusion about this question is when the, the, the image size is not divisible by the pulling layer size, what would happen. And that's a mistake. So that's uh, when the question is generated, the random number that's used is incorrect. So the specification is wrong. So that will not happen on the exam. But in, in, in any case, let's still talk about this. So in the first layer, it's seven by seven filter. So we have the small seven by seven filters that just moves around the image. And for when it's centered at each image, it generates one number as the activation. So if you look at the top left corner pixel, if we put a seven by seven filter around it, and pad zeros around the image, then we get one numbers here. So each number is mapped to another number here. So in particular, what it means is this activation map, there are two of them, each of these activation maps would, be, would have size 90 by 90. So as I said, there are two of these. So that's the second activation map. And in the next layer, um, the, that line again is missing and it says it's a s 3 by 3 max pulling layer. So in particular what that means is we're no longer mapping one pixel to another pixel. Instead we're using a s 3 by 3, not, not really a filter, but 3 by 3 region. We max pull it means we take the maximum number out of these nine numbers and just make it one. So the first single number here is the maximum among these nine. And when it's, when it's pulling, we do not all overlap. So we just to do it for every three by three region and make it a single number. So in particular, what that means if, is if it's 90 by 90, the re resulting activation after the pulling layer will be a 30 by 30 activation map. And the same thing happens here. Okay, so, uh, and I think some people call this 2 by 30 by 30, but it's, it, it, it's the same thing. We, I'm just going to call it 2 activation map. Each one has 30 by 30 units. And then next we have, uh, we don't have hidden layer. If we have hidden layer, then everything is connected to the hidden layer. So every unit in here, so there are 900 units here and there are not another 900 units here. Uh, so all of these are connected to each unit in the hidden layer. But here again, we don't have hidden layer. We just have the output layer. So we skip this hidden layer, which is also connected uh, all the units in the hidden layer are connected to the output layer, but again, we don't have it, so we just directly have the output. There are four units here. Each unit is connected to all two times 900 units in, in the previous layer. So, so that's basically the structure of this CNN, the convolutional neural network. Okay, and the question now is asking about how many of these weights need to be learned. So first, these filter, there are two filter, two seven by seven filters. These filters need to be trained. So we're not using some kind of existing f f filter that we know to, to filter the image. We train them to, to basically pick out the best activation maps uh, for the classification task. So all of these are trained. So there are two times seven times seven of these. And next in the pulling layer, none of these need to be trained. So because we're just taking the max. And I mean, even if we're taking the average, 
all the weights are 1 over 9, so it, they don't need to be trained as well. So we have z zero weights here, and of course at the end, we have, as I mentioned, there are 2 times 30 times 30 units in total, and all of them are connected to each one of the four output units. So it's 2 times 30 times 30 times 4, so this many weights need to be trained. So if we add all of them up, we get a total number of weights. All right, so um, as I mentioned before, the, the, I think the main concern comes from the fact that if this, say, 90 is not divisible by 3, say this is 91, what would happen to, to the pulling layer? Again, for the purpose of the exam, it wouldn't happen. And in practice, it, it shouldn't happen as well. But if it happens, then we just, we, we, we just take the floor, say this divided by 3. And the, the next layer activation will be that many units by that many units. So it's, 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 in this example, it will still be a 30 by 30. So we just I ignore the last column and last row. And the, the uh, uh, other question is, what happens if we want to count the weight? I mean, count, count the bias term as well. So the thing we know for sure is these output, these four output units, they have four, uh, four biases. And for the previous layer, like for the, for the pulling layer, we know that we don't want bias because bias doesn't do anything it's just add a constant to every term um, so we don't have bias here and the thing that's not clear is some people do want bias for the filters some people don't so it depends so if we, we want it then there may be two for bias one for each filter um, but again, it's not everyone does the same thing, so it's either zero or t two biases. So, so the total will be either four or six. And the next question, let me save this. So this convolution question we did it in doing a lecture already, so I'm not going to go through it. And the the next one here is the um, the the max pulling layer. So as I mentioned in the previous question, max pulling is just a two two by two, puts things in two by two regions. It's a two two by two pulling layer, and just take the max. So the max of these four numbers are eight and max again is 10, max is 9, max is 10. So that's the resulting activation map. And the other version of this question is if it's average pulling, then just take the average of these four numbers and put it as one number. So then the next question is again computing the convolution, but we are convolving with the the Sobo filter. I don't know if it's the left one or the right one, but it's one of the Sobo filters to compute the X gradient and the other one to compute Y. So the way you do convolution is exactly the same. Just flip this and put it on top of the image centered at each pixel. And for this particular question, we only care about the center element. So it's a good news. We just flip this and put it on top of the, the, the matrix and do the dot product. So when we flip, again, 1, 2, 3, 4, one, two, three, four 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, this, when we flip, we get 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So flipping is not transposing. It's flipping. <laughs> <laughs> so um, when we flip this X gradient, this X sobo uh, uh, filter, we get basically go in the r r reverse order: one zero minus one, two zero minus two, one zero minus one. So 
so that does look like a horizontal flip. But in any case, we just do the multiplication. So that so the x gradient of the image at that point would be equal to one times eight plus zero times minus two minus one times ten and plus two times minus four and minus two times minus five minus two minus five and I guess I'm not going to write it down so I will just say dot 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 just, just, just do kind of the dot product between the two matrices and you do exactly the same thing first flip and then so that's the flipped version and then do the dot product you will get the other number that's the gradient of y of the image and the question is asking for the gradient magnitude so the gradient magnitude just square root of gradient x squared plus gradient y squared okay so the last question uh, for this question, we already know the gradient. That's uh, very good news. Uh, so we don't need to compute the gradient again. And the question is asking for uh, putting things into being according to the direction. So the gradient direction, again, you need the f formula from the slide. So it's arc 10 gradient y over gradient x. Or here it can be written as a ten two dy comma dx, and we know these numbers, and we again we care about the center pixel, so dx is minus three, dy is min minus ten, so it's arc ten ten over three, and then you get a number here. And that number should be between pi minus pi and pi, especially if you use a ten two. Then you get some number, and then that number must fall into one of these bins. And then, based on what this number is, just put it into like figure out which bin it belongs to, and that would be the answer. So again, enter the the bin number, not. To the direction. This is the direction.